Sarah Palin did an interview with the Today Show, and it derailed when they asked her a real question about some recent silly comments that she made. I want to ask you about something you mentioned on the campaign trail, which is the arrest of your son, Track. And you talked about it, and then you mentioned PTSD. And you said that President yeah. Obama may be to blame for some of the PTSD I never that's said out there. That. Well, I no, wanted to, let's I take it piece by piece. What exactly okay. did you mean? Let's start piece by piece by you guys brought me here to talk about Iowa politics and the caucus tonight, not to talk about my kids. And that was a promise. But um, as things go in the world of media, you guys don't always keep your promises, evidently. I never blame President Obama. What I have blamed President Obama in doing, though, is this level of disrespect for the United States military that is made manifest in getting budgets, in uh, not trying to beef it up and let our military do the job that they are trained to do. And in specific issues that we're talking about that are so hot today, specifically, let's get in there and let's utterly destroy ISIS as we know our United States military can do, yet we have a commander in chief who seems to kind of want to kowtow and um, uh, allow the enemy to be poking at us. And uh, that's unacceptable to most Americans, certainly to me. Do you regret the commander Palin on that day of the endorsement? What did I say that is offensive? That you, you exactly. seem to lay it at the I feet say? of the president. I don't regret any comment that I made because I didn't lay PTSD at the foot of the president. I did say, though, that there is, and suggested very uh, adamantly, that uh, there is much more that our commander in chief can do to prove that he respects our troops and will let them do their job. But no, if you guys have a specific quote, it, it allows the media to be more credible if you guys will tell me exactly what you're talking about, and then I can address that. In terms of credibility, I just want to sentence. make sure there were no specific promises made about content of the interview, only that this would be your first interview since you endorsed Donald Trump. Well, I was told that this interview is about the caucus tonight in Iowa, and right on, who will it be to put America back on the right track and restore constitutional government that we are lacking today and that we so need? And I said, right on, let me go talk about that. Sure. And I think we talked about that quite a bit. Governor Palin, thank you so much. Thank you. Here's your specific quote, Sarah. They come back hardened. They come back wondering if there is that respect for what it is that their fellow soldiers and airmen and every other member of the military so sacrificially have given to this country. And that starts at the top. So when my own son is going through what he goes through after coming back I can certainly relate with other families who kinda of feel these ramifications of some PTSD and some of the woundedness that our soldiers do return with and it makes me realize more than ever it is now or never for the sake of America's finest that we have that commander-in-chief who will respect them and honor them our vets and you deserve a commander-in-chief who will respect what it is that our forces go through and would never leave them behind. You did exactly what they're saying you did. It's beyond clear. You blamed President Obama for uh, your son, who, by the way, was arrested for domestic abuse. and But naturally, in your eyes, he's your little baby, so he's the victim because PTSD from war and... The answer in her mind is not, hey, we probably shouldn't have done this unnecessary war. The answer is, blame Obama. Blame Obama because uh, people have PTSD in wars that he didn't start. Now, don't get me wrong. I've gone after Obama uh, pretty aggressively because I think he's far too hawkish. But that ain't the argument she's making. She's saying, I don't know, just the Democrats blame Obama for everything. All of a sudden, the people who love to yelp and scream and shriek about personal responsibility are like, my son beat the ass of his wife? How can I blame the Democrats? How can I blame Obama? Please. Okay, the two most important facts that you need to know about this absurd claim from Sarah Palin uh, is, number one, Obama did address mental health care. You know how we did it? Through Obamacare. The piece of legislation that you so vehemently oppose that you talk about repealing it all the fucking time. So don't tell me he doesn't care about PTSD. He doesn't care about mental health. He indeed does. He's the one that's actually done some reform in that field. Now again, I think Obamacare was too weak a piece of legislation. But that's a separate conversation. At least he's in favor of something. And the Republicans are in favor of bupkis. 
nothing. Ass cheeks. Okay, and then the second fact is, Sarah, the Democrats tried to create 27 new VA clinics to fix this backlog that everybody's so concerned about. You know who blocked it? Your precious Republicans. So spare me your crocodile tears. Oh, the troops, the troops, the troops, the troops. They're being left behind. They're being left back. PTSD, this, that. Blame Obama. Even though it's the Republicans who blocked 27 new VA clinics, and on top of that, they pushed for a food stamp cut, which directly affected thousands of our veterans. Spare me your nonsense. And it, the main point here is, why are you getting so defensive, bro? Thou dost protest too much. You're getting defensive because you know you fucking said it and you can't defend it. So now, what do you do when you can't defend it and you're a Republican? Play the victim! I was promised that you wouldn't ask me questions that are real questions that I can't answer. I was supposed to be here to talk about the caucus. And that's it. Why are you victimizing me? All I did was say that President Obama is responsible for my son beating the ass of his wife. But why are you victimizing me? Why are you victimizing me? Nobody's victimizing you. You quite literally victimized the president for blaming him for not only PTSD, but your son beating the ass of... Uh, his wife, and you're averting personal responsibility as you ironically claim the opposite. That you're the party of personal responsibility and, you know, you're the party that cares more about the vets. None of it is true. You're an absolute joke. The best way to actually care for these vets is not only to give them help on the back end when it comes to mental health and stuff, but don't send them into stupid wars that are unwinnable to begin with. And in this segment, you did the same thing. You said, yeah, no, the problem, we need to send the troops to defeat ISIS, that we should unleash the troops and let them do the thing, and then you're going to complain when they come back and they're not right in the head. How about you don't send them in there to do that? How about you let countries in the region take care of that? And how about we prevent PTSD from happening, and then if it does happen anyway, we give them the care they need, all things you oppose.